oopsie doodles. Nope. What is happening? What is happening? Nope. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a really fun video for y'all today. I'm gonna be playing around with some makeup that I grabbed from Five Below. So all of this that I'm playing with in this video is $5 or under. So super duper affordable makeup. Just wanted to kind of test some things out with y'all and just play with some makeup on camera that's all super inexpensive. So this is the final look that I ended up creating. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I have to play with is this palette right here. This is the Beauty Treats Rose Gold Nudes Eye Collection, and this was $5. This is what it looks like. So lots of fun, neutral, warm tone kind of shades. So I think I'm gonna start out and do a little combo of this one and this one, and just set my eyeshadow primer with these. This does have kind of a, like a cheapy makeup smell to it, and when I am holding this palette and also kind of pressing into it, like it's making a plasticky noise. Not that that matters, but you know, I don't know how like well constructed this is. So we'll see like as I'm using it. I'm gonna get some of this shade right here. I love these kind of colors. They don't look so cute in the pan, but they're a really pretty color. I am gonna tap off my brush. There is some powder coming off, but I've said before, I really don't mind soft shadows as long as there is pigmentation behind it. So let's see. That is very pretty. Okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. We're just playing with makeup. But I think I'm gonna go in with some of this and put this on my lid. I have this vision of like trying to do kind of a maroony, I don't know burgundy sort of a lid with like maybe a little pop of color in the middle. So this one, actually, let's see. Let me just swatch this on my hand to see. Okay, so this one is very light, but as I just applied a second coat, it definitely builds on itself, which is how that one performs. So this is probably one of those mattes that will be really nice for blending, softening out other things but like by itself, you can see not much pigmentation and it is collecting in the outer corners of my eyes, which typically means powdery shadows. So that one's not working for that. So let's do something else. Let me get some of this shade right here. Mm, yeah, that shade right there. I'm using a Makeup Geek like foiled brush. Yeah, foil brush. And I'm gonna pat this on my lids probably will end up using a setting spray. I forgot to show this to y'all, but I just sprayed and went on my lid. And yes, that's very pretty. And oh my gosh, I just remembered I have another palette that I was gonna show you. Oopsie doodles. Okay, so let's just get some of this on and then we're gonna play with some from the other palette. That is very pretty. Okay, so the other one that I have to play with is this one, also from Beauty Treats. This is the Metallic palette. This looked so fun. I swatched a couple of them and, and this one, and oh my goodness, these are really fun. Very bright and beautiful. So, let's see. Hmm, I'm debating. Let's look at this one and this one. Ooh. That burgundy is really pretty. Okay, so let's go in with this one. It's kind of like a wine burgundy. So getting that same brush in there. Ooh, that powdery, that, that, that powdery, that poofs some powder around. So, poofed some powder. I'm gonna get that on my brush. I'm gonna spray my brush and then put this on my lids. Okay, holy moly. That's a lot of fallout. So I got way too much on my brush. Don't do that. So let's try to get this off. So I think I just got way too much on my brush because over here I didn't experience quite that much. I do have some and I did spray my brush. So you have to be careful with these. I mean, they are very pretty and pigmented, but they seem a little bit testy as far as that goes. I'm gonna blend a little bit in my crease. 
Okay, now I'm pressing into my eye a little bit more, so less like sliding and more kind of pressing down. And I think that's better. I think that's really the key of what you have to do. Okay, now just for funsies so I can play with a few more shadows, I'm gonna get some of this color right here. This is a ColourPop E9 brush. I'm just gonna run some of this into my crease. I am definitely liking these mattes. Like they seem very easy to blend. I like that they are not um, like insanely pigmented right off the bat, but they definitely are pigmented. They're that really nice balance between like, you've got some, you got some playroom with it. They're not so pigmented that they're difficult to use. So I like the pigmentation level of them. So really like those mattes. I'm gonna do a little combo between these two. And apply that to my brow bone. I want to do some fun little pop in the middle of my lid. So let's see which of these two top colors. One of those. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this one. Okay, so I'm going to get some of, let me wipe off my brush, some of this one right here on a Real Techniques detailer brush. Get that on there. Definitely tap it off because, man, those have a lot of kick up. Gonna spray my brush and then just apply this in the middle part of my lid and keep building it up. Playing with this one in the pan, it's interesting. You can kind of see as you get down in the shadows, like especially this one, it's almost a different color, like as you get down into it. I don't know if you can see that. But that's interesting. And so you know that big palette was $5 and this one, this little metallic palette was $4. So pretty stinking affordable. So far what I'm thinking is I like them both. Um, this one, the metallic one is definitely more finicky and difficult to work with, but I think still workable. Tapping with my finger a little bit just to kind of get that little bright pop. Yeah, it does still have a pop, but I really thought it was gonna be more, just like looking at it. So I don't know about this little palette. I think it's workable, but man, like that one looks like it's so pretty. It's like once you go to use it, it's just not quite as impressive as I was hoping. So I think this one's just okay, the metallic one. But I do really like this rose, rose, gold, <laughs> rose gold nudes one. I do think I want to darken up my outer corner just a little bit. So let me get a crease brush. One thing I'm noticing though is that there's really not a lot of dark shades, just really a couple down here. So I'm going to get a little combo, mostly of this one, and a little tap of the black. Tap off my brush. And then apply this to my outer corner, just the tiniest little bit. I really prefer palettes to have, I don't know, maybe like two-thirds light neutral blendy shades, either light or neutral blendy shades, and then just maybe a third dark. So I don't mind that it doesn't have a ton of dark shades, but maybe like one more would have been good. Went ahead and used a makeup remover wipe and then reapplied a little bit of my foundation so to kind of clean up a little bit under my eyes. Okay, so the next thing I have to play with is this liner. This is the Beauty Intuition Bold Statement Oversized Felt Tip Eyeliner. Create daring and dramatic lines with an even and smooth application. 24 hour wear. And this was $3. So let's get this out and look at this. It's pretty black packaging. And I like that the writing on it is kind of duochrome So that's really pretty. So this is what it looks like. So it is a felt tip sort of a liner. I'm fine with these, but I really prefer where it's kind of in between this and a brush, where it's just sort of like this, but more bendy, slightly towards a brush, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's, let me get a mirror. Okay, so let's start applying this and see what happens. Okay, so right off the bat, it's not super inky, not very pigmented, a little bit drier. Um, hmm, it's working. But it's like, hmm, the amount of stuff on it feels like, it's like, it feels like I've had it for a couple of months 
and it's kind of starting to dry out a little bit and maybe it is but I just haven't had it for a couple of months so let's see oh man yeah I'm getting to this side it's like oh my gosh where is the pigmentation where'd it go like where's the stuff oh boy Ooh. yeah hmm I was able to do <laughs> basically one and a quarter eyes before I used up all the stuff that was in it apparently so this one's a fail this is definitely a fail because I can't even finish my second eye nope nope yeah no mm -mm. okay sorry beauty intuition this is not working. I'm gonna try to save the day with my Kat Von D tattoo liner that seems to just go and go and go. I mean, look at this. It's like I've had this for forever and there's still so much stuff left in here. So yeah, like you might spend $3 on the liner, but if you can't even use it one time, <laughs> then that's not much of a deal. Okay, so I don't have other things to play with until I get to like contour, blush, highlight. So let me do my mascara, concealer, powder, and then I'll be back for those other things. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. Tap that off. Run this along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take some of this fun color right here on that same brush, tap it off, and apply that just to the outer half. Cleaning up the line of that with my concealer brush real quick. Went ahead and applied some CoverGirl Clump Crusher to my lower lashes. Okay, so for contour, I'm gonna use this palette. This is the Beauty Intuition Contour and Highlight. It was $5. Let me show you what the inside looks like. This seems really cool. Like you've got, um, you know, bronzers in here. You've got a setting powder. If you use like a banana setting powder, um, you've got a blush up there, highlights. So really get a lot in here for $5. So it looks promising. Let's see. So I'm going to get some of, let's see, I'm going to get some of this one right here, Havana. So we get some of Havana and tap off my brush. I'm using a Sedona Lace FB05. I'm gonna apply this. Let me wipe off my brush because I'm really bad about cleaning my brushes and I want to know if it's actually this that I'm seeing. Okay, so far, this is impressive. Seems like it is blending well. They are a little bit powdery, but I mean, it's working, so that doesn't really bother me. Putting some up on my forehead and my neck. Yeah, that's actually really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Blended well, looks pretty. Let me swatch the other ones. This one is Sand, Sand, Toffee. So those are the bronzers. This one is Pale Matcha, Pale Matcha. So those seem really pretty. They have a very nice texture to them. Yeah, I like that. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the blush, the pink blush. And I'm gonna get this on a brush and just dab a little bit of this on my cheeks. I did get another blush, but it's very bright. So I'm gonna use that in a second and I want to be able to kind of Blend it and soften it with something not so bright. So I'm gonna use this first. This is looking pretty also. Let me swatch this one. Oh, that's really pretty. That's very cute. It's just a girly pink. Oh, I like that. That is so cute. So pretty, blended really well. I like that. That is super duper cute. So yes, I'm gonna use it in a second again for highlight but yes so far for contour and blush really liking this okay now for that insanely bright blush i may regret this <laughs> but i'm gonna give it a try this is the city color collection matte blush in deep coral 
The reason I got this one is because it was the only color that they had that wasn't cracked. There was like a bunch of these and they were all fine. And then there was one other color, just one single of that color and it was like crumbled and messed up. So just got this one. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of this on my brush. That looks so scary. So I'm gonna dab it on the back of my hand to soften it and apply this. So a bright color, but blending well, like not difficult to work with. Really a pretty color, just a bright color. That's actually really fun. I kind of really like that. I'm gonna soften it a little bit with my powder brush, but I also brought in this one. So I assume that they're the same. I've gotten this one, like I got this years ago from Five Below, and this is also City Color, the Be Matte Blush. So this one is in Papaya. So I'm guessing that they just changed the packaging to it, but I really, really liked this one, was so impressed with it. So I figured that I would like this one too, but I was just kind of wondering about that bright color, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna soften it a little bit, but my rude camera cut me off, but I was just saying, I think that that is so fun and happy. I think it's a really, really cute color. For highlighter, I'm gonna go back in with this palette. So I'm gonna get some of, let's see, let's swatch them both. There is soft pink at the top and glow in the middle. Ooh, those are both very pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this one. These both seem very pigmented. I'm gonna get my Beauty Junkies Pro Setting Brush. Oops, I just went into glow, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Let's just wipe that off and do the correct color this time. Okay, we're gonna get some of soft pink and we're gonna tap that off. These do not seem powdery at all, like, I mean, a tiny little bit. So let's just see. This is very pretty. Oh, wow. I like this too. Oh my gosh. I really, really love this palette. I think this is so nice. Yeah, $5, I don't think you can go wrong at all. That is so pretty, love it. I want a subtle little pop of color on the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow palette from earlier and get some of this color right here on a pencil brush, tapping it off. And I'm just gonna lightly apply it. I don't want it to be like crazy intensely pigmented and bright, but just a little tiny bit. Alrighty, and then last things that I grabbed to try out with y'all are these two lip products. So this one I'm gonna start with, this is by Smoke and Mirrors. It says limited edition, this was $3. This is the Lipstick and Liner Duo, and I got the one in Moody. They had this one and then they had one other color. Let me get this open. I think the other one was called like Adorable. That sounds right. So this is what it looks like. So it's a little two-sided dealy. So lip liner and I guess the lipstick product on this end. Okay, so let's start with the lip liner. Adorable look like kind of a mauvey berry color. And I figured getting that bright blush I better go with something neutral. That's my hictithon. Why am I trying to talk on doing this? <laughs> okay, so the packaging seems a little bit flawed, like I have to press it back down in there for it to retract down. Sometimes it will, and then other times it stays up and I have to like press on it to go down. And then it does this, which is like, what is what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I don't I don't know. So packaging is a little bit strange on it. Oh, this is an interesting color. It smells a little bit waxy. Uh, it's clinging to dry patches. That is not a flattering color <laughs> on me. So I need a lip liner. Oh, Tawny, come through for me once again. Save the day. Let's see. I think that definitely helped, but you can see it is definitely clinging to dry patches on my lips, so that's not looking cute at all. So, let's see if this will help somehow. This is also by Smoke and Mirrors. This was $2. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss. So this is what it looks like, and I got the shade Angel Kiss. Angel Kiss, and it says, 
non-sticky feel. Let me open this. Okay, that's really kind of a bright pink. That's not what I was expecting. I was hoping it was gonna be more of a neutral. Oh, okay, that's, that's real bright. So we're just gonna go with it so I can test it out, but that is not the color I was going for. I was going for something neutral. Oh, it definitely has a waxy sort of a smell to it. Yeah, hmm, it's definitely a smooth feeling gloss. Um, not tacky, more on the smooth side, and it did kind of help with that dryness. And actually, it kind of paired nicely with that liner and sort of like made it match the color scheme a little bit better of the makeup. So actually, I don't mind this. Um, you know, I don't think that it's like the best gloss I've ever tried. I don't really like that waxy scent to it, but it's not bad, especially for $2. Okay, so final look. I am really impressed with some products, not so impressed with others. So let's do a little wrap up. So you can probably guess the number one fail would definitely be this eyeliner. This was a no-go, no pigmentation, not good. Um, this little lip liner duo, just not feeling the color of it and how it looks on the lips. So maybe another color would work. I don't really know, but wasn't loving that. Um, these two products, the metallic eyeshadow, I think it's still workable. It's just gonna be more high maintenance to work with and use, but I do still think it's workable, but I'm not like jumping up and down excited about that one. And then the lip gloss I think is still, you know, workable. Like for $2, I think it's a workable gloss and I do actually think this color is pretty fun. So those I'm kind of like, they're pretty good. But then my standout favorites, for sure, I really, really like this palette, especially the mattes. I think they blend really well. I think they're easy to work with. For $5, you get a lot of shadows in here. So I think that's a fun little palette. Love this blush. I just am so impressed with these blushes. They're beautiful matte blushes that are easy to work with, easy to blend. I think this color is actually really fun. So love that. Deep coral, so pretty. And then I think my standout favorite is this palette. I am blown away by this, this Beauty Intuition palette, yes. So if you can track this down at your five below, I would highly recommend this. I think it's an awesome palette, such good quality. So anywho, those are all the products. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was fun for you to watch. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below if you've tried any goodies from five below. Let me know what your favorite things were that you've tried or your fails that you've tried. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.